The fourth item we'll be talking about is uh, being consistent. Consistent UIs match user expectations. This makes it easier uh, for them to interact faster and more accurately. So for example, if you pull your icons from a, you know, an icon library, uh, make sure that you pull new icons from that same library, or at least make sure that they look similar. You know, we've talked about this idea of creating visual rules. So whenever you bring in a new element, you're either reinforcing or you're weakening those rules. So don't leave any room for doubt. Uh, make sure that your imagery looks like it belongs together. You'll get an interface that works better and looks better too. Make sure that your uh, number types are consistent. Common ones are phone numbers, socials, and dates. Uh, dates are especially bad because everyone seems to have their own style. There are also uh, international considerations as well because in other countries, the month and date are flipped. And if two buttons have the same action, try and use the same terminology. Having different words for the same action can be very confusing to your user. Abbreviations are an issue too, especially for days of the month, which or days of the week, which tend to have a multitude of different ways to abbreviate. And again, don't ignore the visual rules that you've created for your, lay, your layout. Reuse them. It'll make your life easier and it will make it easier for your, your users as well. So back to our example, we've made another pass and made the layout a little bit more consistent. We've applied labels to all of the machinery. All the, the values have units now and the tables share the same formatting. So this kind of wraps up our first major theme, cognitive load. The uh, next major theme that we'll talk about is visual hierarchy. And visual hierarchy is what allows us to direct the user's gaze from element to element. Strong hierarchies pull your eye along a design path to uh, your most important information. Here's an example from Inductive University. The homepage is a marketing page aimed at getting people to understand what it is, what they can do there, to see if it's worth their time, and to understand how to sign up, all in a particular order. You can see here how the elements are designed to draw your eye down the page to our end goal. Weak visual hierarchy feels confusing and cluttered. The user has no idea what to look at first. So from this example, you can see that your eye is drawn to the middle of the page, probably because it has the most contrast. Then it naturally kind of scans to the right. And then after that, you know, who knows? In this uh, next section, we'll be talking about some ways to control visual hierarchy. So one way to do so is with contrast. And contrast creates distinction between elements. High contrast elements are perceived first and perceived as more important. And to control contrast, you can use color, you can use size and uh, weight to create contrast between your, your elements. And this applies to text as well. When used appropriately, you can use contrast to highlight important and preferred actions. On uh, inductiveautomation.com, we use high contrast buttons to direct visitors to our primary actions. We call them calls to action. If there are multiple actions possible, we'll provide a secondary button with lower contrast. And this helps us to provide a hint to our users as to uh, which action they should take. In this example, positionally uses contrast really effectively to control the balance between more important and less important information. Uh, less important information is grayer and is, has lower contrast and it kind of falls into the background. Whereas more important information, it has color, has more contrast, and jumps into the foreground. So back to our, our example HMI, we've made some changes to adjust contrast. We've toned down the background, we've toned down the equipment a bit, and knocked back the pipes. These are all elements that were kind of deemed less important. And then for the more important um, information, like our, our data values and the alarm and the tables, we've added uh, more contrast to make them kind of pop up towards the foreground. So here's uh, a good look at the progress that we've made so far. Uh, if you want to check your work, there's a, great, there's a great way to do so, which is to get to blur the image or to kind of squint your eyes. So when you kind of blur out the details, you can kind of see uh, that there have been some improvements. The, the equipment is less pronounced. The, the navigation is more obvious. The data read, uh, readout stand out more. The tables stand out. And there's just a, kind of a stronger grouping of, of information.